What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. In this short video, we're gonna talk about how you can refresh all of your data sets from Power BI Desktop. We've done similar videos on this, but because of some recent Power BI updates, Power BI now supports the Power Automate visual and makes it extremely easy. We don't have to write any code in order to refresh all of our data sets. We can do this directly with one click of a button. With this setup, we're able to refresh a single data set directly from Power BI Desktop. We can refresh multiple. For example, I can refresh every data set within this workspace. I can refresh actually every data set I own across all of my workspaces with this single button click. I'm gonna wait to show off the data sets actually refreshing in the service until we've set up the solution together. The solution only takes a few clicks to set up. So once we're done there, I'm gonna show you all the refreshes actually happening in Power BI Service. Just a reminder, if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. It is the best way to show your support of the BI Elite YouTube channel and helps me to continue creating Power BI content. All right, let's get into it. In order to set up the solution, you'll need some information about your workspaces and data sets. You're able to get that information pretty easily via the Power BI API. I have a series on YouTube talking about how to retrieve this data back from the Power BI API, so I will link that down in the description. It's called the How to Build a Power BI Admin View series. Follow along with the first couple videos and you'll get all the information you need about your workspaces and data sets. But as of right now, you can see that I have information about my workspaces. For example, this group ID is my workspace ID and my name is my workspace name. Then I have my data sets. I have my group ID, which is again, workspace ID, data set ID, and data set name. So really we just need this data set ID and this group ID, which is again, the workspace name. So if you don't want to programmatically return this information following the steps that we outline in the Power BI admin view series that I just talked about, you can get this information uh, manually if you want to. So if you go to Power BI, you can click on any data set and go to settings and this right here, this first one after groups is your workspace ID. And the very last one after data sets is your data set ID. So you can get that information manually. Maybe you can write that down, put it in an Excel sheet. It won't be automatically refreshed, uh, but you will have the information to use in Power BI if you want to. So back in Power BI, what I've done so far on this page, let's actually go to the demo page where we don't have that button set up. All I've done is I've added a slicer for the workspace and I've added a couple of tables, my workspace name and my data set name, followed by my workspace ID and data set ID. I set it up this way because if I filter down to a single workspace, like my refresh demo, uh, and I click on a couple, I'm gonna control click. Uh, basically, these are the workspace IDs and data set IDs that we're going to pass into the Power Automate button, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So the next step we need to do is we need to import the Power Automate visual into Power BI Desktop. I've already done so, as you can see right here, but you just need to go to the three dots, get more visuals, and you can search for power and you will find the power automate visual, which is currently in preview. Add that to your report and you'll see it with this blue arrow here. So let's go ahead and click that. It's going to create a new power automate visual. We go ahead and move it up here. And it's going to outline some steps that you need to follow. I'll just talk through these instead of going through each individual point. So we just need to add a little bit of data. Um, as this table shows, we need to add the workspace ID and the data set ID. Those are the two pieces of information that Power Automate needs to know in order to kick off a refresh of that data set. So I'm gonna grab my workspace ID, which is my group ID. I'm gonna throw that in here. And my data set ID for my data sets table, throw that there. So we can think about this as we are passing into the Power Automate visual, the group ID and the data set ID, which is exactly what we're seeing here. If we only select one data set, we're passing in this information. If we select, let's say, a few data sets, we're passing through this information. And before I forget, I want to click on my Power Automate visual and rename this to Workspace ID, uh, just to keep it consistent with everything else on the page. And then in order to continue setting up the Power Automate visual, you click on the three dots and click on edit. It's going to open this up in a full screen view. It's gonna load your flows. You can see I already have a flow, but we need to set up a new flow directly from Power BI Desktop. So I'm gonna click on the new button and instant cloud flow. So the trigger is clicking the Power BI button. So this step is static. We need to create a new step. And if you simply search for refresh, uh, a data set, let's click on that one. 
And from here, we need to select a workspace. You can select a static workspace if you just need to uh, refresh a single data set from a single workspace, but we want this to be dynamic based on what we select. So if you scroll all the way down, you see enter a custom value and you see a lot of information being passed from Power BI to the Power Automate visual. If you hover over some of these, you will see some uh, deeper information. For example, this one says Power BI Data Workspace ID. So we want to dynamically pass in the workspace ID into this workspace item here. And down below for data set, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So enter a custom value and let's find the one that says data set ID. So that's workspace ID. There we go, Power BI Data Data Set ID. So we're passing through the workspace ID up in the workspace and the data set ID in the data set field. And you can see that Power Automate has automatically created this conditional step. So it's going to apply to each, meaning when you click that button, it's going to look through all of the different workspace ID, data set ID combos, and basically run through the refresh for each data set. So that's all we actually have to do. Let's go ahead and click save. And once it's saved, we can go back and let's click apply. So now that we've clicked apply, we can go back to our report and we're gonna have our nice button. So now is the point where we can actually demo this to make sure it works, because we're completely done actually. So I'm just going to click on a single one, comparing categories against others. We see this is the information that is going to be passed to the button. And since we're in Power BI Desktop, let's control click, and it's going to trigger that uh, flow to run. And once it's done triggering, it's gonna say triggered. And let's come to Power BI. In my refresh demo workspace, we see that my comparing categories against others is currently refreshing. That is perfect. We see that refresh has now succeeded. Let's go back to Power BI. Let's not click on a single one. So we're actually looking at all five data sets within my refresh demo workspace. Let's run that one and come back to Power BI. And let's just refresh to make sure we can see that refreshing. We see one is refreshing. Let's see if, uh, yeah, there's a second one. Those will kind of refresh uh, in series or, or start to refresh in series, but they should all refresh at some point in the near future. Yeah, we can see them all starting to refresh. So last thing I wanna note here, um, we are confining this to a single workspace because I've selected one um, in this slicer. So this button is only going to refresh everything within your filter context. If I get rid of the slicer selection, I am looking at every single one of my reports here, every single one of my data sets. If I click this run flow button, I have now triggered a refresh for every single data set that I own. You may not wanna do that, but it's pretty cool to be able to refresh every single one with a single button click. So if we come to, let's say my YouTube data set or my YouTube workspace, we'll see all of these refreshes starting to be kicked off. Some of them are red because some of them have local data sources without a gateway, so just ignore those. But you see all of these refreshes occurring at the exact same time. So a little bit scary, a little bit dangerous, but you know, keep it in mind if you do wanna just conveniently refresh a large portion of data sets. Last thing I wanna talk about before we end this video, if you come to flow.microsoft.com, you'll find all of your flows, including the one that you just set up directly within Power BI Desktop. Uh, this is the one we just modified two minutes ago. We can see all of the run histories. We can see that the one I just ran is still running, and that's because it has uh, so many data sets to crunch through. Let's go to the uh, second one that we called. I just want to show you what's actually happening in the background. So on Power BI button click, we can look at uh, the apply to each. We see that it ran through this five times because we had five data sets within that workspace, and we're looking at the first call. If we uh, open that up, that refresh a data set step, we can see the raw inputs that it sent to the Power BI API. We are sending a refresh data set operation with the workspace ID and the data set ID. And that's just everything that you need in order to kick off that refresh. So you can click through all of your individual calls that were made because of that Power Automate flow. And that's everything in a nutshell. Extremely easy to do, no code required, just a single Power Automate visual and some information that you supply based on the workspace ID and data set ID. I hope you liked that video. Again, if you liked it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like the way I explain Power BI concepts, make sure you check out my training over at training.bielite.com. We have awesome training on Power BI, DAX, SQL, Alteryx. We have a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline as well. Make sure you check out our contest page. We have a new Power BI contest that's gonna be live this coming Monday. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And I'll see you in the next video.